Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Grand Prix World. This is another part of our Sauber Let's Play. Today, uh, we are going to be continuing with the next three rounds uh, of the season. Uh, it's been a few days since I've picked up the game, so we are going to spend a little bit of time just reacquainting ourselves with what's going on. Um, I'm also going to hopefully catch a lot of you guys up if you are jumping onto the series uh, new today. Hello, welcome. Uh, this is just an amazing game. I am thoroughly enjoying it. Hopefully you guys are too. Uh, I just want to say a massive thank you to uh, some of the guys f f for your comments uh, last time out. Uh, especially Callum uh, Bethel and uh, KC Games for Live 2. Very, very good comments in there. Very, very helpful. I really do appreciate it. Um, stuff about uh, the, the works, partnership deals in there, which I think is, is really, really important. Um, and we will have a little look at that and see if we can remap any of the, the, the points that we've got. Um, and another comment from Callum. If you get a message early on in the game uh, about teams having a surprise and ride height or, or something like that, then keep an eye on, on those teams. Um, so, yeah, hopefully uh, we will be able to uh, keep going with it. We'll catch up with... The news first. So Damon Hill has added another race win to his toll. Jack Villeneuve led the grid at the last Grand Prix. Rubens Barrichello scooped up a point at the last race. Uh, Takagi scored his first ever championship points. Rumours suggest that Sauber is looking to cancel its contract with Pedro Diniz. Not true at all. The Diniz dollars are very, very useful. Uh, Williams and Shell have agreed a deal that is part of a new major F1 alliance. Uh, Arrow is happy to see both its cars finish. Okay. Tyrrell have signed a, a joint venture deal with Agip, so I assume that's partner. Uh, Michael Schumacher will be racing for Williams next season. We have got some cash signings to talk about. No more room there, so McLaren have got a full sponsorship package uh, i'm the loser of the pack apparently uh the ride height of the ferrari cars was amazingly con constant at the last grand prix so maybe that's something we need to be looking at um okay so ride height is probably gonna be uh something to do with suspension i would imagine so if we focus on ferrari let's just check those yeah, surely ride height is going to be on uh, on active suspension. So we can put ten percent of our guys on that. Ten percent of our guys on that, and two percent on that. That seems good to me. Did we spot anything on toward with Benetton? No, we didn't. Uh, how are we doing in terms of drivers? We have got uh, drivers in place for next season, so that's absolutely fine. Um, I think we're okay for uh, commercial, design, engineering and mechanics. That's all good. We will have to go ahead at the start of next season and start looking at that. Um... Let's have a little look at the messages. Uh, so we have some new star workers. Okay, what's that one? Um, so we've got a profit, that's fine. A star worker in the design department. We do have two there, so... They're talking about a car problem. Our cars are showing excessive wear. Okay, so we need to sort that out. That's fine. Um, my focus is this year's car, not next year's. I should not be doing research. Okay, so that's Barrichello. Same with Diniz. So we can sort that out. Maybe can go into the testing straight away and, and sort that out. So they don't want to be doing any research for next year. Let's stick them on 100% doing that. We'll give him 20%, 80%. That's fine. 
Uh, what else did we want to do? I have some staff not doing anything. Either find them some work or cut my department cost. So it's about designers. Okay. That's about some space. We're ready to build the new driving aids. We've finished making the new driving aids. Okay. New computer automated design system will be ready at the start of next year. That's fine. That's cool. I've had a, had to call the emergency meeting with our sponsors. No one is happy with the news report of your lack of popularity. Total has reduced its support for us. We need to turn this around, MasterCard. And we need to make sure we secure maximum sponsorship funding. Okay. Made good progress. Okay, we do not have any staff working in hospitality. If we do not entertain sponsors, it will be hard to keep them happy or to make new deals. We did not invite our full capacity. Okay. Right. We do not have any staff assigned to license, and this could be a good source of revenue. You see, I didn't understand how to do that. Nobody's really got back to me either about it. Demand for clothing has been high. And publishing apparently. Okay, right. So that's uh, that's all the news out of the way, which I think is good to get our head around. We've looked at the rest of that. And that's fine. So we we have got two points in the bag for this season so far. That is uh, putting us in sixth position in the championship. Um, I don't think we are going to get up to, to Arrow's level, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, is there anything else on there? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think there's any new races this season either. Okay. So the chassis isn't changing um, next year, but... The 1999 chassis is illegal, so we will have to have new cars. Uh, the use of the following confident... So, McLaren have got a two-star active suspension. Okie dokie. Fair enough. And that's the legacy stuff. Alright. Okay. Right, let's have a look at our cars then. So, what maintenance do we require on them? They have got a little bit of wear. Uh, we'll see how testing goes first. So I think... Uh, let's have a little look at that. So it is quite pricey, but I'm not that bothered. We'll do 100. Because we are making a lot of profit at the moment. So let's, uh, let's do 150 miles of testing get ourselves going a little bit um, we can do well I mean let's have a little look it, it says that we can't do that it says we can't do that so I, I don't think we can do anything with it I don't think so I mean, we could we could just focus a few on the engine and and just and just see what we can do if we if we put fifteen percent on that, and we get our drivers doing it. Well, I don't know. Ah, right. So that's fine. 70% and then go 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And just see what happens. See what happens with it. That's coming along very nicely, so we can get that. We have got the wind tunnel. So we'll chuck everybody that's left on that. Um, we are looking at the suspension, which is good. Okay, good. 
and gearbox is the next thing that we'll look at as well. Driving aids. Um, we haven't actually got any available engineers, so I don't think we want to look at that just yet. Okay, that's all in order. Nice. Right, okay, let's do some testing. Let's see what we get. So let's perform the testing. What have we got then? So we've got plenty of setup testing there. We've got one bar of that. Which, yeah, doesn't seem to be allowing us to do anything. That's fine. That's fine. Have we had any messages? Nope. Let's see how our sponsorships are coming on. Team sponsorship is already sorted. Uh, HSBC are willing to talk to us. That's fine. Okay. Anybody else out there? Doesn't seem to be. Ah, because that was just the five and four. Have we got anybody else talking to anybody? It doesn't seem like we have. What are we doing then? Are we doing any of this? Where are our commercial staff? So all of this is sorted. I'm confused. Ah, I think it was that. That was the issue. We have 40% of our staff on this HSBC deal. Ah, because we're still looking at this. Okay. So we have increased some of that. That's okay. Right. Why don't we reduce some of this then? And since we've been told there is high demand for our clothing, why don't we get 20% on that to try and get that sewn up? What's uh, next year's livery looking like? Should we have a little look? There it is. So we've got Peugeot in there. We've got Red Bull. That's all looking rather nice, isn't it? Right, I'm going to quickly save the game. Uh, just so that it, if it crashes. Let's uh, start looking ahead to the next Grand Prix then. So uh, we're obviously not going to have any team orders. We are going to... Increase the grip and the speed and the overtaking. And for Denise, we are going to focus a little bit more on overtaking and dust and a little bit more grip for him. That seems fine by me. Uh, we still don't have any new tyres. Uh, the soft tyres are actually a little bit more resilient. So we are going to put both tire, both guys on the soft tyres and uh, we will head into the next Grand Prix. Here we go. Right, so uh, it is 21 degrees, very dry average wind speed. So let's continue to the race weekend with the soft tyres. We are going to go with lucky number seven for Barrichello and we will now do qualifying. Let's see. Can we? No, that's fine. I think three is the, the least you can do. So let's see how we get on. Uh, 11th and 12th, so a 112.1. We are full second off Damon Hill uh, in his Ferrari. Pedro Diniz just a tenth behind Rubens Barrichello. So very, very good 
from him. Uh, did anybody fail to qualify? Nope. So up at the sharp end then, uh, Damon Hill starts on pole. We've then got Irvine in second, Lacey in third, uh, with Villeneuve fourth, Schumacher fifth, and Hakkinen in sixth. Oh, light rain for the race, which uh, brings us out of it a little bit. Uh, our intermediate tyres are pretty good, and the wet, wet weather tyres are decent. Uh, we are going to try and one-stop Rubens Barrichello. And Pedro Diniz will go on the usual strategy. So we'll go 45 and 30 uh, and 26, sorry. Oh dear. Right. 45 and 26. And let's see how we get on in the race. I think everything else is looking good. We'll just reduce this fuel down a little bit to make them as light as possible. So here we go. Let's see how we get on in the race. Hmm. Barrichello out. Ah, we didn't. Oh no, we didn't fix the cars up. That is so annoying. Both of our cars out. And you can see a Tyrrell in fifth. We could add double points. That is so frustrating. I'm so annoyed with that. Because we could have, we could have literally... We could have finished fourth. Well, Damon Hill wins by two laps. Uh, I am furious at that. And Tyrrell now go equal sixth. That is very disappointing. Urgh. Right. Okay. How annoying. So, we do make a profit of a million pounds. We've got a new star worker, which is good. Uh, ready to upgrade this year's cars. Cars are showing excessive wear. Our deal gives us no influence on engine R&D, so any engine testing we do is a waste of time. Yeah, which is what I thought. But I'm glad it's told us that. The wind tunnel hire deal only costs money when we have design projects in the wind tunnel phase, which we do. We still have advertising space left on the car to sell. Don't have any staff working in hospitality. Driver pleased. Ooh, okay. Right, let's have a little look then. At what we can do. A uh, quick look at the news before we continue. Uh, new Force and F1. So Prost have gone into partnership with Ford. Uh, Minardi have got a partnership with Mobile One. Benetton have gone into a partnership with Mercedes. Uh, anything else? Don't know. Jack, cash signing. So we've got some cash signings there. Uh, both the Tyrrell drivers pulled off another fantastic race start at the last Grand Prix, so that's maybe something we need to look at. The ride height of the Benetton cars was amazingly constant. Oh, so there you go. Um, Tyrrell have got a load of um, sponsors for next season. Okey dokey then. So the FIA have announced something f in regards to next season. So let's have a little look at that for next year. Um, so the technology for the brakes, clutch and suspension will be carried forward into next year. So I feel like everything else will be a waste of time in terms of next year's car. So we might want to think about that. Going into the next Grand Prix. Uh, last Grand Prix, so we've got that. So we can copy it, but we have already got a level one active suspension. So let's complain about that. Um, we will be checking their cars more closely at future Grand Prix. Interesting. So we might have got Ferrari caught out there, which is very, very good. Let's have a little look 
at the progress of our licensing. So we have got 1% deal done on that. Um, HSBC are now two bars along the way. Um, still no more bonuses for that. We are going to take 5% uh, more off all of that. Um, and we are going to introduce some hospitality because we can. Uh, so we're going to do 5%, 5%. Uh, 3%, 2%, something like that. Um, we're not going to go for 5 star, we're just going to go for 3 star. And who are we going to bring along? So we've got Red Bull I think we need to, to bring along. Try and support us a bit more. Peugeot and Total. They are our current uh, people so let's bring them along and see how they they get on with us um let's have a little look at testing for the next grand prix um uh, so we'll do another 150 miles why not we are going to take people off that that's fine Let's look at next year's car, how that's getting along. That's ready to go, so we can get that going. And let's go clutch, because that is still important for next year. How's our 2000 chassis going? We're already halfway there in the wind tunnel. Very, very good. That's all fine. That's all fine. Okay. No, just have them completely focused on setup testing. We can do 50 50. Perform testing. What we got then? So we have got some research to pass on. Which is good. We've got setup done. Which is nice. How are we doing then? So technology's got a three uh, star boost. We have got another click along on the wind tunnel. So that should be all finished, I think, by the end of this round. Let's make sure that we get these sorted out this time. Gonna go for car three instead. We will get car two fixed up as much as we can. Yeah, that's fine. And we will swap. Will we do. Yeah, that's fine. So. Let's sort this out. So we want Pedro Nunes in car four, Rubens in one, and him in three. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine by me. Cool. I think that's everything sorted there. Okey dokey. Why don't we get some... Aha! Upgrade technology. We need to sort that. That's done. Get some spares sorted. And then we'll get on to the next Grand Prix. But this is all going rather swimmingly. Just annoying that we didn't take that opportunity in the last race. I do think we could have got 
a double points finish. And perhaps even a P4, which uh, would have took us almost up to Arrow's level. Might as well get all these spare parts made. Okay. Let's have a little look at our staff while we're here. So we can appoint some more... Uh, hang on a second. Have we had some... No, we haven't. Get another... Ah! Oh, it said 57. Ah! 57 standard, 3 stars. That's fine. We can uh, make a couple of average people redundant though and just increase the quality a little bit that's fine uh, we can get another trainee but we don't want that nothing there nothing there right okay then Cool, cool. <clears throat> I think we are ready to move on to the next Grand Prix then. So, no new engines, no new tyres, no new fuel. So let's confirm the assembly there. Uh, team orders, we will go with that. Setup wise, we will get that extra click of speed for Barrichello. Um, we are going to go for a bit of heat as well and overtake it um, yeah why not just experiment a little bit that all looks good and we are going to scrutinize the well we've already kind of done that um, Benetton active suspension I think that's what we want to look at now um, or Williams, or, or was it Tyrrell? Tyrrell, Tyrrell will have traction control, I think. Because um, they were getting off the lines well. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Right, let's get into it then. I think we've done everything this time. Very dry, high wind speed, 23 degrees. Uh, we're going to go with a lucky number seven. Again with uh, Rubens Barrichello. So let's see how we get on in quali. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, well, well. 16th and 17th. That's bizarre. Why we're so far off the pace. Yeah, not really sure where that's come from. 24 degrees, very dry, high wind speed. Um, yeah, I'm guessing we just set the car up wrong. Uh, we're going to go one stopper again with Rubens. We'll go 23 and 22 for him. We'll go with heat cycled on the first run and then uh, new tyres for the second run. Um, yeah, that's fine. And then for Pedro Diniz, we are going to go with the standard two-stop strategy. We are going to try and go, well, with newer tyres later on in the race. Let's see how we get on. Ooh, seventh with Barrichello. Nearly got into the points there. Uh, Michael Schumacher as Benetton. Wins the Grand Prix. Damon Hill there in second. Eddie Irvine third. John Alacy fourth. With Olivia Panis in fifth. And Frenson in sixth position. Nakano um, in the top ten. As well as Takagi there. Uh, Pedro Diniz, meanwhile. A gearbox failure for him. Which is a shame. No change in the standings there. Jordan now grab a point, And that is eight teams. Or nine teams, I beg your pardon, with some points a season. The only teams not to score are Stewart and Minardi. Okie dokie then. Did we find anything in the last Grand Prix? No. 
Let's have a little read of the news. So Michael Schumacher wins. Deniz is not happy, apparently. Uh, partnership with Ford. Mugen Honda for Jordan. Uh, a Bridgestone deal for Prost. Uh, okay. Something else about that. Okay. Fair enough. Happy to report. One of the people you fired has successfully sued you. Oh, we've lost two members of staff in the commercial department. Okay. Ready to upgrade this year's car. That's pretty quick, isn't it? So, our deal gives us no info. Okay. Well, we didn't do that, did we? We're ready to upgrade our car internal technology. Okay. We've made good progress in our talks with HSBC. The great weather at the last race really helped with hospitality. Demand for publishing has been high. Denise is delighted. Bad luck about the race. We need to keep morale up. Oh, okay. Right, let's uh, deal with the resignation. So we've lost two very good members of staff. Let's headhunt and see what we can get. No, we might just have to leave that for now then. Um, the design department, we can grab another excellent and another very good. Engineering, we have got uh, another excellent member of staff available, so we're going to get rid of an average and do that. We can get rid of another one and do that. That looks pretty good. Awesome. And nothing in the mechanics. Okay. I think we're I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Right. So let's have a look at our cars. Okay, quite worn. So for testing. Uh, you can do 200 miles of test in here. Ah! Let's get these 100% on that. That looks good. And because we changed their cars, it didn't really do anything, but we will do our testing. Which is fine. We won't pass on that research just yet. Um, we have finished the wind tunnel, which is very, very good. So let's construct that chassis then. That's fine. So next year's car is sorted out. Which means we can start focusing on this year's car again. Which is really, really nice. So we can get that done. Um... What else do we want to do? I mean, why don't we just focus on this year's car? I know it won't help us next year, but we can get that sorted for the next Grand Prix. Let's get that up to four star. Right, upgrade the technology. That's good. Let's get a 2000 car built. And another 2,000 car built. We can get three done here. How much is that going to cost? Mm, maybe not, actually. Perhaps we look at getting some spare parts instead. That's fine. Smashed it. Cool. 
Right, driver aids. Yeah, we could. We could take off some people from there. Let's go 75%. And let's start doing some traction control. That's fine. And now let's go and spend our research. So we've got a bit on our driver aids and a bit on our gearbox. Perfect. And annoyingly, move the, the window down again. Okay, so uh, hopefully I've sorted that. Um, where were we up to? So I think we were pretty much ready to look at the next Grand Prix. Uh, HSPC, the deal is going well. Danka um, and Castrol still not giving us any more bonuses, which is a shame. Uh, I think keep up with the same VIP Personally, let's increase our hospitality offering just to keep everybody happy. I think that'll be good. That's looking decent as well. Okay. Very good. Right. Let's uh, press on. Oh, we need to fix our cars up. <laughs> Nearly forgot it again. So what have we got? Um, car 3 is looking okay. So if we swap car 2 and car 3... Oh, was it car 4 and car 3? So he can be in car 3. Uh, Rubens needs fixing up as well. Is Rubens in car 1? Yeah. Right, let's get car 1 fixed up. And then car three needs fixing up as well. So now both of our race cars should be in good condition. Yes, they are. That's fine. Okay. Suppose we might as well use up most of our mechanics to get them done. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, right, let's uh, ha have a look at the next Grand Prix then. So that's looking fine. Team orders, of course. Um, yep. Yeah. Setup wise, what do we think? So for the Hungaro ring, surely grip is going to be really important. Um, let's try a couple on tarmac as well. Try one for rain on both, just in case it's raining. I don't know. Still on the second spec of that. Okay. Confirm the assembly. Let's get ourselves into the Grand Prix. Here we go then. Right, so it is uh, 32 degrees dry with a high wind speed. Let's get into the weekend. We are going to go dry soft 7 for Barrichello. And let's see how we get on in quali. Uh, 11th and 13th. Dene's actually doing a little bit better than Barrichello this time. Uh, four tenths quicker as well, which is very, very surprising. Both arrows in the top ten there. Uh, did anybody fail to qualify? No, they didn't, which is good to see. Uh, Jacques Villeneuve is on pole position. Uh, we've got Hakkinen in second, Panis third, Schumacher fourth, Hill in fifth, and Irvine in sixth. 
very dry for race day 26 degrees big temperature drop uh, average wind speed okay right let's keep going then uh, we're gonna run some heat cycle tires for Barrichello uh, and then stints two and three is just gonna be back to normal Pedro Dines we are gonna go with a one-stop app for him um, he's gonna take it very far into the race he's going to go 50 laps on his first stint try and overcut the field a little bit and then 27 laps for the second stint for him all on fresh boots let's see how he gets on a hey, fifth and sixth a double points finish for us that is huge uh very very good to see ferrari win the race with damon hill uh, Esteban Tuero in second for Benetton, uh, Panis third and Alesi in fourth. Uh, if we have a look down the order, lots of attrition uh, up to 14th, but you know our race pace is looking pretty decent and uh, a double points finish there. Fifth and sixth, very, very good. Denise's first points of the season and uh, Barrichello now into the top 10, which is nice to see. And we are now uh, alone in sixth place in the driver's standards if we keep that sort of form up between now and the end of the season there's no reason why we can't topple arrows for fifth place okay right uh let's have a little look at the messages uh oh we made a loss at that grand prix that's the first grand prix we've made a loss um for a while we did have a resignation, we've got a new star worker, we've got an upgrade ready, some engine testing. Yeah. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I don't really know why um, they're all having a go about testing when we haven't done that yet. All the t TV airtime we've been getting has worked well. So we've got a TV advantage. Peugeot has increased its support for our team. We must keep up the good work. Agreed better terms with Danka. Um, oh no. Oh, we've got even better terms with Castrol as well. Good weather. Nice. Driver pleased. We got some points. Our sponsors really enjoyed seeing both of our cars finishing the points. Nice. Right. That, that worked very, very well, didn't it? Let's have a little look at those uh, sponsorship deals before the end of the episode. So you can see they have increased their... Offerings, HSBC, still three star. We're close to signing. Why don't we use our TV advantage on that deal to try and get that sewn up before the next episode? Everything else is looking pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Um, we are increasing our sponsorship next year which is nice uh, did we find anything to complain about no we did not uh, quick one about uh, our gearbox we can get that improved our driving aid is looking pretty good as well um, we will do some what, what was the Things that we could do. So suspension, clutch and brakes for next season. So um, perhaps look at the reliability of our brakes then. Yeah, I think so. Get 75% of our team on that. Or maybe just 65 because we do seem to be breezing through that one. Get some more on the drivers driving aids we'll get that increased 
that's fine. We can get another 2,000 car built. So we now have... How many we got? Where's it tell you again? Can't remember where it tells you. Where's it tell you how many cars you've got? It's this one. I'm confused. There's there's literally a page where it tells you how many cars you've got. Is this summary? There you go. So we have got four for this year, three for next year, so why don't we get our fourth car built as well? Just while we've got so much money in the bank, we might as well use it. And can we do even more factory stuff? Because I have to say, we've got so much more money than I ever expected at this stage. Ah, uh, we can't. Not until the start of next season. Okay. Okay, I think everything's fine. Um, I'll get testing sorted out for next episode. I'm trying to, to basically get a, a good head start on it. We'll do 200 miles of testing. Um, we'll get Barrack Alloys on 100% of that. I really don't know what they're on about then. <coughs> That's fine. No idea. No idea. Anyway, I think that is what we are going to... Uh, where we are going to leave it for today. We will finish off the season in the next episode, but things are looking very, very good uh, going into the next episode. We are currently in sixth position in the Constructors' Championship, so uh, very much looking forward to seeing if we can compete with Arrows between now and the end of the season. But if you have enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more grand prix world content and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye